Hello everyone, today we are going to learn how to make this orange. This is part 1 where I teach you how to make an orange and in part 2 we are going to learn how to make the half slice of it. Let's get started. By the way, I have started my Patreon so you can get the models and uh, project files for $1 per month. So the Patreon link is in the description. You can download the orange if you want from there. So we'll start modeling the orange now and you might, uh, let's delete everything first. You might think that to model an orange we need a UV sphere. That's not true because if you uh, look at edit mode you will see that these are all quads which is nice but on the top these are tries which uh, when, add, uh, when, you know, when a subdivision surface modifier is added it will look bad as it may have artifacts. Let's try, you can see this pinching effect is going on. So we don't want that. Let's delete it. And now we are, uh, to make the orange instead of a U sphere, we are going to add a cube with a subdivision surface modifier of level four. You can hit control four and do that. And this is basically a sphere with way better topology as it is all quads. So let's apply this modifier and go to top view, select the center vertice, this one. Go to front view, proportional editing on, move it up till this much. Yeah, that looks good. And let's add another subdivision surface modifier of level 2, shade smooth. And now tab on to edit mode, move it down, but you know, change the size of the effect and then move it a bit down so you get that bump effect that you see over here. Now let's tab, on, tab back onto object mode and apply this modifier and we are going to add some more realism using, using sculpting. So the time lapse of the sculpting starts now. Oh I didn't realize I started animating, that's cool. And that's pretty much it just add some uh, details using sculpting and it will look better in the end result now let's go to the shading tab to add some materials and in the base color as you guessed let's give it an orange color and this is the uh, hex e77400 that is the hex and uh, let's add a noise texture a color ramp connect the color to the factor and the color to the roughness and now if I control shift click on the noise texture you can control you know the scale I'm going to put the detail to 16 and now let's control shift click on the principal BSDF and move the color ramp to adjust the roughness so you know there's a bit variation on the roughness that looks good maybe too shiny yeah. Now let's duplicate the noise texture and add a bump node and connect the normal to the normal and the color to the height and let's uh, decrease the scale or increase the scale yeah increase the scale and then let's decrease the strength and I don't know just mess with the roughness or something it looks like an actual orange it is really good if you have an orange beside you as a reference uh, so you can you know decide what it should be while looking at it and now we're going to start making the leaf and before we make the leaf let's duplicate this and let's call this one orange and this one orange half and let's hide it uh, now to make the leaf, I'm going to use the leaf texture that was used by CG Boost in the Apple, you know, big, uh, Blender 2.8 beginners uh, course, and it's the same method. Actually, this orange is, is inspired by that course. So let's add a plane, move it up, scale it down, and in the materials tab, add a new material, image texture, and open uh, that uh, image. I'll put. The link in the description or you can download it from his video now let's go to the materials tab and uh, I don't know if you can hear me 
Oh. Now let's go to the materials tab and uh, you can see it's a bit squashed so scale it in the y axis till it looks good and now scale it down. That looks good. It you know it, it looks good based on the size of the orange. Okay. Now tab on to edit mode and then hit forward slash on your numpad or your keyboard. Doesn't matter. So it's look it's the local view and the leaf is isolated and control R add about 30 loop cuts. And then uh, hit the forward slash uh, uh, forward slash again to come out of isolated view and then um, proportional editing on uh, x-ray also on select this these two vertices first let's move this down and rotate it then move it here rotate it more Yeah, that looks good. Now let's select these two vertices and move it down. And let's select these vertices and move them down. And that looks kind of nice. It's a bit, you know, jagged. So let's add a subdivision surface modifier and shade smooth. Now I can see the background is black, but to make it alpha, we can go to the shading tab and connect this alpha to the alpha over here. You won't see it in EV, but if you go to cycles and go to rendered view, you will see the effect. And let me add an environment texture. Let's make it transparent. And that's looking kind of nice. So that's it for part one where we made the orange. And in the next part, we are going to cut this orange in half and put an image of half an orange sliced. Uh, we, uh, I'll just tell you the method uh, now. We are going to go to Google and search for an image of orange slice. And then we are going to uh, cut the orange in half. And then we are going to fill it and UV unwrap it and place it correctly on the image. So we'll do it in the next part and I'll see you when it comes out. Please subscribe and like and comment in this video if you have any suggestions. Take care and stay safe.